Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer courtesy of Matt, who was actually in New Jersey, and he picked this one up. This is from Kane. Uh, this is Tomorrow is already here. If you're not familiar with Kane, Kane is uh, in, I believe, northern New Jersey. I've actually been to the tap room. So uh, they do hazy IPAs and all, uh, some other stuff, but in my opinion, we're going like, let's say, like anywhere between five to 10 years ago, uh, they, were producing some, they were producing some of the best barrel aged Imperial Stouts in the world, in my opinion, um, right up there with Bourbon County and a bunch of the top, top producers, um, hell, Top and Goliath even. Um, super underrated in my mind. Got to try a bunch of the beer at uh, Extreme Beer Festival every year there there and just completely impressed me. Anything that can be as world-class as Bourbon County is insane in my mind and they're, they're um, a night to end all dawns. A night to end all dawns is um, just one of the GOAT Battle Age Imperial Stout um, series that I've ever had. So. This is from them, uh, fresh new. <laughs> I haven't had them in years. And this is their uh, Imperial Stout brewed with maple and Asian heaven held bourbon barrels. 14%. Big, thick guy. Uh, let's pour some more in the glass for you guys. Yeah, look at that. So that is pitch black. I mean, you guys can't see. That is like, the beer doesn't get darker than that. The, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Carbon is pretty uh, light on that. And then it has this kind of like, I don't know if you can see, but like the the, the color is almost like, yellowish right it, it usually you get a uh the head the the head can comes off like uh tan dark tan brown uh, i feel the maple syrup has almost like influenced it to have this kind of like extra color that i can't really describe but um definitely a big thick guy like you could see the beer just trying to fight to slowly uh, move down the glass with this brown color sheeting on the glass so on the nose yeah <sighs> i've had a barrel edge pearl stout in a minute and this is perfect for that big rich bourbon character integrated with like uh chocolate brownies uh espresso beans um this kind of like uh werther's uh, uh caramels um almost like like liquid cinnabon without like the the cinnamon character but just like something that sticky sweet and syrupy oh maybe a little bit of maple syrup note too man big vanilla bourbon character um just, just smells top notch like this is a uh, Full blind, I'm guessing this is Bourbon County. Cheers. Oh, hot, big. This is a big boy. Thick boy. Woo! Um, <laughs> definitely on the sweeter end. So um, that isn't necessarily a bad thing. Like, you know, you know, some of these beers are way too sweet. This is definitely on the sweeter end. I'd definitely say medium plus to full sweet. So if you're into that, go ahead. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead. But this is impressive big first thing you know is this beer is just thick carb is relatively light on it it's mouth enveloping uh, again bourbon county-esque all the time anything anything that's bourbon county-esque is a huge 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 compliment because that's in my opinion the goat of um barrel imperial stouts at least you know accessible right um <sighs> hugely thick sweet rich Milk chocolate, Hershey chocolate, a little bit of like um, like espresso beans, but then like covered around with like maple syrup and caramel. Um, you get a little bit of coconut, definitely lots of vanilla. The bourbon is beautifully integrated with this beer. You really can't, like one of the great things about world-class Imperial uh, Barrel Asian Imperial Stout is when you can't figure out where the barrel starts and the beer, where you can't f figure out where the barrel starts and ends and where the beer starts and ends, right? Where it's just, it's just like layered in there. Uh, the, the worst experiences are when you sort of like can taste the beer and then the bourbon sits on a different part of the palate where it's thin, where it makes the beer thin, makes it the beer boozy, makes the beer oak and tannic. Um, this is just like all the way integrated that, you know, I can't really tell where the, the bourbon and vanilla starts and where the chocolate and roast and base beer start or end, right? They're just like married and integrated together. Mm -hmm. I mean, a good example is like, Make a vinaigrette, like vinegar and, and oil, and don't mix it up. So then get a spoon of it, and you sort of get, like, get part of your tongue tasting the vinegar, part of your tongue tasting the oil. Now blend it up real good, and now you get a vinaigrette where you can't even see the color difference. And then the palate sort of feels it, and it's like balance of like oil and vi vinegar where you know it's all just integrated in. Sort of what you do, Mulsi emulsification of flavors, right? Thick, rich. After about like half palate, the beer gets quite sweet. Um, it's mapley, it's sweet, um, but it's really nice, nicely balanced uh, with a little bit of char, a little high amount of alcohol, right? So the beer has a high amount of alcohol, but it's really well balanced. And for a beer that's so sticky, like 
So like, <laughs> ideally, what I can, you know, we can use a refract, uh, refractometer or a hydrometer to sort of find the final gravity of this beer. This beer is ridiculously high finishing gravity, as in there's just tons of sugar left in the beer. Um, I use the lip frac <laughs> right? The, the lipometer. Um, you know, allow the beer to dry your lips. And if your beers, if your lips can't open, then there's a lot of sugar left in that. This beer has a very high residual sweetness to it, very high finishing gravity. And despite that, it ends up uh, finishing out and, you know, cleaning up pretty nicely, making the beer somewhat drinkable. Um, here we have a 69, it's 500 mil uh, bottle, 17 ounces, let's go with that. I'd say this is definitely not a finish yourself. Like, Bourbon County, I have no problem with. The amount of balance that beer has, like, I, I love that beer. Um, this beer, I would go, like, three ways, four ways. So, like, give somebody four to five ounces of this guy, and, like, you know, I think that's a more reasonable amount. Granted, some people will call me crazy for being able to drink a whole, uh, you know, 500 milliliters of Bourbon County, but, hey, uh, I'm not going anywhere that night. I'm going to enjoy the hell out of that beer and let it sit. So, so this beer is relatively sweet. A beautifully executed um, barrel aged imperial stout, more on the pastry end. So if you like maple syrup, it doesn't have like weird flavors like Cheerios and cookies. And, you know, right? you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like this is the crazy stuff they put in um, um, pastry stout these days. But it's definitely on the sweeter end. So if you're into pastry stouts, you're gonna love this. You're gonna, you're, you know, you're gonna go bonkers because this is a barrel aged pastry stout basically. And then, then, you know, those are the best in my opinion. That when you barrel age them and then and then add the adjuncts. Um, you know, maybe Bur if Burm County made a maple variant that was very sweet, yeah, this would be like like that, which is a huge compliment because Burm County is, you know, so good. For me, lacking a balance because it's just so sweet. <laughs> this beer is very sweet. Um, Burm County is a very sweet beer, but I find balance in that beer because of the the lack of that mapley character. This is just so mapley um, and caramely. It's a little bit detracting. Despite that, oh, it's so good. There's a little bit of red fruit character in here. I get like goji berry, some dates, a uh, little bit of dark fruit. 96. That is absolutely fantastic. I mean, this is just killer good stuff. Um, the cane barrel program continues to impress. Uh, for me, again, you know, I, I like a little bit less sweet and a little bit more balanced. But if you're into pastry barrel aged stuff, right up your alley is A plus stuff. Cane is killing it. Thank you, Matt, for getting this for me. Cheers later.